Hey guys, welcome back to another Poly Gel Nail Design Set where my sets are created using 100% Poly Gel. Well, you know what? Every now and then I do use stickers, but overall my nails are created using Poly Gel only. And that is my flex, like that is my thing that I create these sets using only poly gel. But this is my Libra set, a part of the Zodiac series. And I must say, this Leo, this Libra set and the Leo set are my absolute favorite out of the whole series. Which is odd because I'm a Virgo and the Virgo set did not make my top of favorites. But anyway... For this video, I did want to leave in pretty much the whole process from beginning to end. And so the video is a little long, but we're going to start out with my prep. Now, this video is a old video. It's a previously recorded clip, but my prep have never changed throughout my process. I like to take that metal cuticle pusher, push them cuticles back, make sure they are up off the nail plate. And then with my e on a low speed, nothing too fast, nothing too serious. And then a diamond cuticle bit. In fact, I'm still using this same bit to, to the day. But I take that bit, go up one side of the finger, or up one side of the nail, around the cuticle, and then down the other side. That is all that I do. I do not file on my nail plate. There is no need for me to do so because um, I, I do my nails often for one. And so there's no need for me to continue to remove layers. Plus my nails already have some ridges and grooves, so I don't need to create any more. Here is my secret. It's not really a secret, but this is like my secret weapon. I wash my hands after I file. I wash my hands with some dish soap and a scrub brush. The dish soap is a degreaser, so it removes all of the grease, the oils, the dirt, the grind, whatever it is. It removes it all off of not only my nail plate, but it removes it off my hands, allowing for the products to stick better. I don't use primers, dehydrators, and bonds. I just go ahead and wash my hands with some dish soap, and the product sticks well just with that. Now, this is my form application. Now, the forms, I get these from Amazon under Thick Nail Forms. I'm not sure who the seller is, but if you're looking for forms, just search Thick Nail Forms and these will pop up. Here, I'm just cutting a little slit on the side to relieve the pressure. Also, I have a detailed video on my form application if you guys need that. Here, I'm just trying to get through it real quick, so I just put it on there. Um, go ahead, close this second tab. Relax my finger. When I relax my finger, I'm looking at the form as if it is the nail. And this will tell me how the nail will look after it's all done. Now we're going to go in with some pill-off face coat from McCart. This is a gel pill-off face coat. Gel meaning that it needs to be cured. I personally like the gel pill-off face coat versus the water base. The gels just seem to stick better with the poly gel. I always say gel sticks good to gel. So, boom. I'm just going to add a nice thin layer on all of my nails. I am making sure the whole nail is fully covered with the peel off base coat. And then went ahead and gave that a 60 second cure. Now we're going to go in with the poly gel from Lanvo. This poly gel. Okay, so for this set, I wanted, I knew I wanted to use the glitters. But I also wanted to make sure this set was a simple set. I wanted to give you guys something that you can actually recreate. I know a lot of my sets are, it's a lot of steps, a lot of work. And so I did want to do something a little more simple in case any Libras wanted to recreate it. All right, so here I'm just cleaning that extra up off that cuticle. So when I squeeze that poly gel out, I did have a little bit of flood up underneath. And so there's a tip for you guys. Take that time and get that extra product from up under that cuticle. If you're still wondering why you're getting lifting or your nails popping off, most likely you have some flooding somewhere. So take that time, clean it off. All right, so here I'm just bringing that poly gel down like an ombre. So... All I pretty much did was make sure it was nice and flat up around that cuticle area and then drug down the rest of it, making it nice and thin. So for the middle finger, we went in with Lavino's poly gel. Got that from Amazon also. FYI, I get the bulk of my poly gels from Amazon. So sometimes I may not say Amazon. I even get them from AliExpress or Amazon. All right, but again, most of them always come from Amazon. 
took that burgundy red color which is a very pretty color same thing worked it around the cuticle and then drug it down nice and thin down to cover the remainder of the nail now again i said this video was long i did want to show you guys every color that I, well every color and brand that i used i will go back to just recording the one finger but i wanted to take the time to show you guys each color from each brand that i used and you know boom so there's the purple and then we used ashiba's blue for the pinky finger gave all of those there little quick cures here i realized the pointer finger nail wasn't fully covered so i did go back and add another little bead gel will stick to gel regardless if it is cured or not so if you need to go back and add more do so there i was just blended the two beads in and then went ahead and gave that another cure okay i don't know how to pronounce this brand i'm not even going to try it is sold under the number three it's on aliexpress it's sold under number three and it is sold as a nude it was advertised as a nude but it is clearly a milky white but um i was okay with that i like the color in fact i have never used a milky white and this set actually made me think i might add the milky white to my sets a little more often but all i pretty much did was squeeze out a big glob of that milky white and then start working it back towards the cuticle the cuticle area now, the thing with this poly gel is it is not sticky, but it is definitely really firm. And so I did have to use a lot of pressure to move it. But I just took it and fully covered that teal color. So with this milky white, I worked it all the way back to the cuticle area as if I did not have the teal there. I still wanted the teal to have that little peekaboo, but I did fully cover it. Now for the glitters, we're going in with Miss Cherry. I get these ones from AliExpress, but they are sold on Amazon and Sheen, actually. I just recently bought a different kit from them off of Sheen, so squeezed out that poly gel. Now, I bought this particular kit three times. As you can see, this tube is pretty much empty, and every time I get down to even one tube where I got to work it like this, I'll go ahead and put an order in for another one because I love this glitter kit. All right, so after I struggle to squeeze out that last little bit, we're going to go ahead and start working that poly gel in. Um, I had to blend those two beads, those two separate ones, put some together. Now, the problem for me when it comes down to using shimmer poly gels is that, okay, when I had to use two beads, like I just squeezed out those two beads, there will always be a line in the nail from where the two beads met. And that's one thing I hate about using shimmers. But these colors are so pretty, I kind of overlook it. But I'm going to kind of point it out for you guys in a minute so you can understand what I'm saying. But all I did was put that little poly gel on it. At this point, I'm just bringing it down to the line 11 for this pointer finger. Trying to keep my sides in shape in there as best as possible. So I didn't want to have to do a whole lot. Again, I wanted this set to be a set that you guys can recreate. Gave that a 30 second cure. Okay, so if you see this, first of all, this color is beautiful. But you can see I'm squeezing the poly gel out, going down, and then I double back and I go up. There is a small little line in between that. That line will always be in that nail. No matter how much I try to blend those two beads together, no matter how much I file away, those little lines where the poly gel is separated will always be in the nail. And that is something that's annoying to me when it comes down to these um, shimmer ones. But again, the, these colors are so pretty. Like, look how pretty this color is. And this was my favorite nail out of the whole set. This little, I don't even, I don't know. I think it was either dark pink or rose. I can't remember what it's called on the tube. But the color was just so beautiful. But all I did was just smoothed it over side to side, start working it, making sure it was connected to the white. And then again, bringing it down to make sure I keep my shape and then squared it off. Same thing for the purple, and then, of course, the blue for the pinky. Now, for the thumb, I did use SXC Glow in the Dark Yellow for the thumb finger, and then the Milky White, and then, of course, I went in with the Miss Cheering Yellow. My thumb is short, so I can just use it for everyday activities, but it is also my signature at this point. Here's the nails once they was finished beautiful loved it i was looking at them like damn i ain't got that much to file like the shape was already pretty much there just needed a little cleanup it was just perfect so far okay so for filing all i used was a fine bit i didn't go in with my two-time course bit i just went in with the fine bit 
um, and I started out around that cuticle area. I was trying to fall away a lot of the white back there because I really wanted that color to poke through. And so that was like my main focus when it came down to following that white part. And then, of course, we all know this, it filed just like any other wet, any other white, like a wet baking soda. But then when he filed down a little glitter, again, I didn't have to do a whole lot to this. Cleaned it all up. Um, let's see here. This bit, if you guys are wondering, I get them from AliExpress, it's long burl bits. Okay, so then I go in with my hand file. I file around the cuticle area. If you guys are not aware, hand filing is my favorite. So then I file down the side, go down, file down the other side. Anything I do on one side, definitely do it on the other side. And then I'm going to file through the body. Me filing through the body, making sure that the whole nail is chalky and have scratch marks all over the nail. File, 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 that, use the hand file and file that. Oh, look, y'all had to leave this little clip in here. My beautiful baby, she does like to help me do my nails at times. And for this part, she did want to come in and help me file. And I do know that's why these nails came out as crisp as they did because my beautiful baby filed them into shape for me. But look, make sure you guys just file, file, file. Here, I'm just going to file the size of these nails up and down. I file up and down, not back and forth. This is how I make sure my sides are nice and straight. They are crispy because I file up and down and not back and forth. Do that on all of the nails. Here is how I file my tip. Again, I file up and down and not back and forth or not side to side, shall I say. Do that on all of them. Just do, I'd like to do a little bit at a time and then look at it, make sure I like it. Don't. Don't overdo it because you'll fall away too much real quick. Okay, so after I do that on all of them, I wash my hands. Here, you see that little line, that dark purple line? That is what I mean when I say I, when you add two beads of this shimmer poly gel together, they will always have those little lines in it, which isn't bad. Here, I'm just looking at the white lines, which are my lines of light. The white lines let me know that the nails are even, that I have no low spots, I have no high spots. So that I get from the hand filing. That is why I file, file, file that hand file to let me know that my nail is straight and clean. But anyway, I was saying about that little um, little dark line from the shimmer. That just, um, it's not the worst because it does give it like a uh, dimension type look. So it's not that bad, but it's annoying to me. Here, I'm just putting a little protein bond around that cuticle, not on my skin, but in between the nail and my cuticle. I don't use cuticle oil, so I use the protein bond to get that little ashiness up out of there. That is it. Now, I'm going in with some Venalisa Top Coat. I love to top coat. Out of this step here for bling, top coat is my favorite step. I do like to take my time when it comes down to applying that top coat. like to make sure it's nice and even, everything's self self level nicely and just look at that shine like i love this top coat but okay go ahead put that on I take a little extra um oh here i had a little flatten so i took a clean brush and got that little extra top coat out of my cuticle i will always say oh here i had to wipe off the extra i will always say the small details matter guys the small details matter take that extra time and clean that extra top coat or polish off if you got a little poly gel that's up on the cuticle, take your time and take that stuff off. Believe it or not, it, it matters. We see it, okay? Now, if you don't care, then you do your thing, right? I would never tell nobody how to do their nails. But if you don't care, fine. But if you are somebody who cares, take that time to clean that stuff up. Here, I'm just wiping off the extra again so I can keep my shape nice and clean. I love how Top Coat bring that nail back to life. Like, it's something about this top coat and shimmer, and I was just so at awe with this set that, honestly, at first, I was like, I wasn't going to put any bling onto it because it was just so pretty. But, anyway, I used all the same bling for all of the fingers, so, boom, put those all on, gave those a cure, always constantly wiping down my sides to keep my shape. Now, I'm going to go in with a little rhinestone glue or rhinestone gel, whichever you want to call it. And I put a little bit on the back of the Libra Charms. I got these from Amazon 12-pack. Just search Zodiac Charms. They come right up. Okay, I put them on. Now, I do know I put it on upside downwards. 
for me that is how i liked it and my nails will always be done for me the way i like them so if it's upside down it's, that's just what i wanted to do then i went ahead and put that little label on and here's how they was looking absolutely beautiful definitely a favorite i feel like it's something a little more simple for you guys to recreate and they were just so beautiful the shimmer was just like perfect i love these nails but guys you know the video is coming to an end so let me go ahead and give you guys shout outs thank you thank you thank you so much for watching these videos i love and appreciate you guys for that because without you i would not have a channel and i know i don't have the the most funniest personality so i thank you guys for bearing with me through these videos but again i love and appreciate you guys thank you don't forget to like share comment subscribe share and do the whole nine but i'll talk to you guys in the next video